And welcome to a truly bedrock hardcore series! Is that what yeah. we're calling it? I have no yeah. idea, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's no I bedrock. Work, it's okay. bedrock. Right. It's Java. really hardcore. This yeah. is on Java. Metacritic does the not first have hardcore. Episode of truly hardcore. Truly yes. triple X. My one was better! <laughs> All right, guys. I just I, okay. I just want to point out that the day is already ticking. So if we don't find a bed until night, we are all gonna die. Um, there's, a there's a creeper doing this. There's a creeper. There's a creeper. Trust me. It'll be alright. I'm pretty sure creeper. I've got special anti-creeper powers. It's all good. Oh, we should have yeah. done a poll yeah, to have... see who was gonna we, die first. Okay. Right. <laughs> I found a chicken. Oh, creeper! Oh, 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 <laughs> Um, so watchful. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. You, 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 it's, it's not a bedrock thing. I, I know the logo says truly bedrock on it and everything, but it's still not a bedrock thing. See, look, the thing's going from one hand to the other here. We'll do it like this. Yeah, that that's a Java thing. We're on Java. We're on Java, and we're playing hardcore once again. Yes, I know we did this in the past. Yes, me and Jen did this. Yes, Jen Jen is on here too. As a matter of fact, it's just me at this moment. Yes, it's mostly truly Bedrock members. It's also got Jen. It's got Ricky. It's got the Bruno, but the Bruno, and it's got um, Dan Rob Prop. Okay, so it, it's a hardcore thing, and it's on Java, not Bedrock, and you know, we're, we're doing hardcore Minecraft. So, hello anyone, everyone, and no one. My name is Slack Lizard, and welcome to... What what are we calling this? Minecraft Hardcore Truly Bedrock? With friends? Okay, right. So, here we are. Here we are, everybody. We are on a Java Hardcore world with friends, but it's just me at the moment because all the friends are elsewhere, and there may have already been a couple of deaths, which we'll go into later on. And here we are. Now, of course, everyone else on this world is back that way, like a thousand blocks. Look, I'm Slack Lizard. I do what I want. And I wanted to get away from everybody. That way, if I die, I can blame it all on me. So here we are. Here we are out in the middle of nowhere at this point, And we found the village. And I say in the middle of nowhere. We're only a couple thousand, not even a couple thousand blocks away from where everybody else is. But I just kind of want to get myself established not with everybody else. So what is going to be the point of this series on my channel and what are we going to be doing? Well, right now, the main goal is just survival. Now, of course, this being Minecraft and Minecraft being what it is, we could die at any moment, any time. We could have a ninja creeper. All of these things are unpredictable. So I think we're going to try to set simple goals for each episode and try to move on from there. And our simple goal for today armor now as you can see i've already got some iron armor which i'm really happy about that i've done some mining we got a little cave going down here i've found a spawner down here a spider one and we've gotten down into the caves now as a matter of fact let me just kind of run down here and show you what we got going on down here so if i knock through this deep slate down here here we are. We, we've made it to our caving level. And as a matter of fact, if I hit the F3 button, we are at negative 17. Of course, we're not all the way down at the bottom of the world, but we're pretty far down. And our goal for today, our goal for today is to potentially stay alive, which sounds like a good go. Couldn't you agree, Watchful? Yep, I think that's a good go. And two, potentially get all diamond gear. Now, additionally, I would like to get some feather falling and maybe even a potential XP source set up. I don't know which that's going to be yet. We do got that spider spawner, which I haven't showed you yet, but... That's 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 option number one. Option number two, which I think could be the most beneficial, is doing something with villagers. Though to do that, we're gonna get get we're gonna have to get some crop farms and or other farms situated up. And this is what I'm after right here. I I wanted you all to take part in this with me, while coming down here mining and caving earlier. I found oh my god, look at all the creepers over there. I found the creepers. That's for sure. Geez, you all stay over there. Can you all see that? Look, look, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Nope. 
We're not dealing with none of that. But we also, oh, we got to watch up above. This is not the same. They will come down on top of us. Right. I want y'all to be part of this. I saw these diamonds when I was mining earlier. So let's gather these up here and see what we get from this. There is a one. Oh, beautiful advancement there. There is a number two and a number a three. There is a one, a two, and a three, and we could potentially use these to get ourselves a diamond pick so that we can make it longer in this world. You know what I would really, really like at this moment in time? A bow. A bow would be really nice, but in order to do that, we need string. In order to get string, we need to cut There's a spider spawner over here. Why don't we go get some string real quick? Oh my God. Really? Look, look right there. I was just running back by here, going to go to the spider spawner, and I just seen that. Hold on. Come on. Let's get, let's get this too. Let's get this too. I'm like super, super paranoid. There's another diamond. Oh my God. Two, three, four, oh, five, ah, six. Oh my God. Seven, eight. Oh my God. Nine. I swear I am not hacking. Ten. Ten. No. Oh my God, 10, epic, just completely epic, right? Um, now I'm paranoid that everything's gonna go wrong. I'm paranoid that everything's gonna go wrong now. Let's, let's go get some string. Let's go get some string before things do go wrong. We'll put that back there. Now, if I remember correctly, it was over here. It was over here. I heard as I was digging down, just the beautiful sound of spiders which led to yep us finding this down here and of course there's not gonna be anything at the moment no because mob despawning is a thing let's check all this let's light all this we don't want nothing extra now i want to as well uh get that goad that we just passed to i know it's <gasps> where where i heard it <laughs> it made me jump. It literally made me jump. Where did I hear you from? Where are you? Hello, Mr. Spider? Oh, 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 no. No, where were you? Okay, well, hold on. Look at the, the subtitles in the bottom right-hand corner. Footsteps, 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 nothing. Breaking of blocks, that's fine. Let's get that piece of iron there. Oh, let's get all these pieces of iron. Look, I am paranoid. I don't know about you. I don't know if you've ever done a hardcore world. And that's something I'd be curious to know if you have done or not. But I've been playing Minecraft for so long now that I don't really have a fear of the game anymore. But last year when I did my first hardcore series with Jen, it, it, it gave me like this fear factor I haven't experienced in the game forever. And today... I've got that again, and I think that's because it's a hardcore world. Because, I mean, you die, you're done. You die, you're done. And that's very exhilarating. Um, please? Yeah, let's just take all that. We don't even have to fight none of these guys. Let's grab the name tag. I can't think of a reason why we would need the melon seed at this moment, but we're going to grab it. We're going to grab all that. We're going to a block of this back up. We're going to go up top. We're going to make ourselves a bow. I know we have a bunch of villagers up top. We're going to see if we've got a Fletcher. And if we do not, we're going to make one so that we can get some arrows. Okay, so we got a bow. Now the question is, is yeah, nope, nope. The question is back, back up into the house and go to sleep. Not dealing with that. The question is, do we have any Fletchers out here? And if not, what do we need to make them? And... I really feel like we don't mess around. I really feel like we don't mess around and we go ahead and get diamond related stuff. So we're going to get that. We're going to get a diamond chest plate. That's going to give us more protection. We've got five diamonds left. I feel like I really, really, really want to put that on the boots. I want a diamond pick as well, but I don't know which has more precedence. The diamond boots or the diamond pick diamond boots or diamond. we got to get feather falling as well so we're going to go ahead and grab the boots for now i did see another diamond down there in the cave but it wasn't in a very good to get to spot right so we got a bow 
We need arrows. Arrows, arrows, arrows. What do we even arrows? Arrows. No, excuse me. Can I see everything? No, not barrels. Arrows. Av excuse me, game. Oh my god. Do I have to be specific? Have row? Huh? Oh my god. This is Java, right? This is where you got you gotta learn the recipe. It's a flint, it's a feather. It's whatever. It's whatever. Fletching. Oh my god. How does one make a fletching table? I do not like this crafting system on here. This watchful, this sucks. And if I grab uh, this and we do that. Ah, look at that. There we go. There's a fletching table. Now I'm pretty sure we got a dum dum villager all the way over there. Yep. That one's a farmer. That one's doing nothing. So if I put this down, will you see this from there? Do you want a job? Can I interest you in coming over here and coming to work for me? Huh. Okay. Can I interest you in getting into the boat? Look, thank you. Thank you. Let's both get in the boat and let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride, Clyde. I want to take you down here and we're going to see if you're interested in becoming a Fletcher. Because if you become a Fletcher, I can give you sticks. And if I give you sticks, then you, you can, you, you can, you can help me and I can help you. And you're not interested in this at all, are you? You're just not even interested. Excuse me. Why are you not interested in the workstation? Hi, can I give you, hi, would you like that? No, you would not. Can I convince you to, you know, go into that spot? This is, this, this, let me, let me, don't, don't, stop it. Go in there. Go, no, go in there. Go, 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 go in there. Okay, so you can't take a table while you're in the boat. I, I, I get that now. I get, to get in the, get in the hole. You're not going that way. Look, you don't know me. I will kill you and get 10 more just like you. You you do not know me. Okay. You get in get in there. Get all get all the way in there. Get get in there. Oh my god, why the Java villagers, you know, have collision boxes. There. Now you're stuck. Uh-huh. Now you're mine. Uh-huh. This whole thing about indentured servitude and things that we're not talking about no more. But that is your new home right there, buddy. That is your new home. You brought this all on yourself. All on yourself. Look, now if I give you sticks, look, now you give me arrows, look. Now, see, didn't that work out real good? That worked out so good. And look, you can even have a torch in there. And because I'm nice guy slack, okay, don't let it ever be said that I'm not. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to break this trap door here. Come on, give me the trap door, thank you. And we're going to put this, like, right there. Look, see, and now I'm protecting you from zombies. See, you, you just... Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. I'm just saying. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look, look, and I get more arrows out of it now. You're happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. Okay, so Mr. Fletcher established, chopped down some trees. We've got three golden apples now. Now we're going to do a something else, but it's not going to necessarily be something insane. What we're going to do is we're going to take this fence out here because I found over here a pen in this village that has cows in it. Now, my first instinct was to just scream Mah! and just chop, chop, chop. And then I remembered that we're on Java and passive mobs do not respond very well. What do you all got going on? Y'all got some kind of secret plot meeting going on here or something? Those guys are un whatever. Right. So now seeing as mobs don't respond so quickly over here, we're going to knock all these out. We're going to grab this wheat and we're going to lure these guys all the way over here to a pen by our house. Excuse me, Mr. Cow, I need you to come with me. Mr. Cow, Mrs. Cow, whichever cow you may be. I want you all to follow me so that I can put you all in a different pen. Because we want to breed you all up so that we can get some leather for a nice enchanting station. Um, that will potentially do here. Now, oh my god, using stone tools, uh, it, it's been forever since I've done anything like this. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. If I knock that one out and make that my water source, will that hydrate all that soil? I think so. God, it's been forever since I've done something like this. It has been, it feels like forever anyways. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The reason that we're doing this all in small farms and not just rushing it is because, well, I don't want to die. 
I uh, genuinely, that's, you know, not what I want to do. I genuinely don't want to. So that means we're going to do a lot of little small and manual farms to get things situated out here. That should do that. We might take that back further at the end of the day. But for now, let's get these going. That way they can be growing because, well, this is going to take forever. This is not a bone mill powered farm. This is a manual farm. So we'll get all this going. We'll continue to dig this area out. And while we're doing all that, we're also going to plant all these saplings here because Jen is in the world right now. And Jen, I was talking to, has a villager over there because she is building an iron farm at the moment. And this villager has feather falling. Now, of course, the feather falling cost is only like 12 emeralds. But that means that I'm going to have to make a complete trip back to spawn. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I can take enough emeralds over there to buy potentially her and a few others a book as well. I mean, if I'm going to make a trip over there, I might as well make it one worthwhile. And of course, I know that she doesn't have much in the way of leather at this moment, which of course gives us time to breed up these cows some more and potentially have some that we can take, well, that we can kill so that we can take leather over there. Well, that's a few cows now. That is a couple of wheat fields, and we've also got some sheep in, and I've moved the sugar cane as well. Now, I did a little bit more mining, as you can see. Maybe, I don't remember. I think I had the diamond boots before, but we have four more diamonds now. Now, I found more diamonds. I did, and I really want to go and mine them, but they're located in a spot where I am going to have to pillar out over a ravine. And that's got me a little bit on the leery side because what if I end up falling and ended up in this ravine and I don't have feather falling? Now, as I said, Jen's got the iron foam over there and Jen does have a feather falling villager over there. So I think at this point we're ready to head back to spawn to do some trading. And I don't know if there's anything else that we can really bring to benefit the people over there. So that is what it is. I need, where it is, somewhere in here, there is some wool. There it is there. We'll turn that into carpet. We'll come in here and we're going to, dude, that just gave me a heart attack. Did you hear that watchful? That sounded just like an arrow shooting. And I could have sworn at that moment there was a skeleton shooting at me. So at this point, that was in literally the worst spot ever. Let's try this again. Let's put this here. Now let's come in here and, yep, it's mooter time. Let's kill some of these. Let's get some books and let's get some more beef too because now we got pork because we're, we're running low on the uh, on the beef front. That's fine though. We'll get it situated out. You know what? You can take a boat ride from my area all the way back over here and that looks like that is a working iron farm. And of course, that looks like that's a gen there. Hello? Hello. You're in diamond. I'm not. What in, is this? I'm not in full diamond yet, but I'm. I, I am getting diamonds. You're. You're halfway there. Look what I made. Look what I made. Yeah. Yeah. I've. I've. I've literally made nothing except a safe spot to live. I'm actually surprised to see you in armor because rumor was that you were running around with no armor while building an iron farm. That is correct. And there were golems on the uh... island, and there was lava, and and and. And yeah, I was just running around in my booties for a while. Good, good, um, good job. Yes, yes, that's that's why I'm here. Rumor has it, you have a feather falling villager. Can don't, I have, don't just pay no attention to what. Uh oh, I thought I thought I had enough to get three. I got enough to get two. Um, how much do you need? Here, have some emeralds, and here, have some leftover books, and we'll call that even. Does that sound like a fair deal? That sounds like a fair deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, my only other problem, I don't have an anvil. Do you happen to, iron I mean, farm. right? I see you got this iron farm and every time I look over there, there, there's literally just golems dying. You wouldn't be able to spare the iron for an anvil, would you? Do you want to hear the good part? Okay. What's what's the good part? I, I've made this for everybody because mostly bedrock peoples. I, I, I made a Java farm for you guys. Mm. Hey, I got one of these over there. I, I got stick guy because because I needed arrows. Your your stick guy doesn't give you arrows though. Huh? 
Master Gag. I, I just needed the uh, I just needed the emerald trade. Mm. Okay, and this guy does that. This guy. Right. Um. So how does one? He, access... He's not traded with his. He's not. Oh, you haven't traded with him yet. So my 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 next question was is how does one access the iron at said iron farm and where do you AFK this? You can just stand on the island if you want to <laughs> get wherever. Well, it's hardcore. I'm not going to just stand wherever. It's going to be in a very secure spot. That's for sure. Okay, coming up. No, you can make yourself a, a, a spot somewhere. Oh, I forgot Java hitbox collision. Thanks. Oh, my God. Um, How much is it to make uh, an anvil? It's three blocks. That's 9, 18, 27. I'm going to grab I'm that. Full. And for some point, 30, 31, 32. I'll grab half a stack. That should be enough. Can, can, Get the whole stack. Uh, oh, God. Oh, hardcore. I didn't do that. Everything's fine. One thing, I, I I know the guys over there, most most people have kind of taken shelter in the lush caves over there. D yeah. They have sheep somewhere, but I don't know where they've put them. And I need sheep because I, I need my own bed. Okay. I might end up taking this one. <laughs> Well, I mean, technically, I'm, I'm, I, I, I do what I do. You know this because we've known each other for a while now. I do what I do, and I've run off and got my own area. I have cows, and I have sheep, and I have wheat. If you wanted to come over there, I could show that to you. You could breed up some sheep, and then you can bring back some wool over here if you wanted to. That'd be fantastic. I actually was going to be on my way over to you shortly because I didn't know where you were because I've got a couple of things, and I know you've used the guy over here. I've got some goodies for you. Okay. How you... empty is your inventory? I, 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 I have a chest boat. You, you have a chest boat. You know, there's this new update, and there's chest boats. Shift click. Yep. Mm hmm I has just oh fancy things, fancy things. Bamboo could be useful. Melons could be useful. I've got melons. I didn't have pumpkins. Smithing table, moss. You've been busy. You've been on all I've kinds been busy of things. And to make your own iron farm. Yeah, I I know nothing about Java mechanics and iron farms. I mean, if you mm, could see, I don't understand the village ratio and the size and everything. This this is a bed over here in workstations. That does not link that to that. So those are separate villages, yes? Yep. Th this is not considered a village because there's not five of them with beds. Okay, well, if there was five of them, would these two merge then? I don't think... No, they wouldn't merge, but there would be a golem spawn on this island. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand how to build that. It looks like five villagers and one bed. That's it? Nope, five villagers, five beds. Okay, because I only in see a glass one box. Me. Yeah, can I get you to just come build me one of those? Yes, I will come and build you one of those. Uh, do you have any lava? Uh, no, but I have a cave, so I'm I'm sure okay, I can we can find we can find Excuse lava. You? He's excited. He wants to come too. Uh, no, no, don't, I don't, no. Man, it is always raining on here. It's always raining. So, continuing on, we now have Feather Falling, which means those diamonds down there in the ravine we're definitely about to go claim. And I think to stick true to the concept theme plan for today's episode, we're doing pretty good. But let's let's go get that. I would like to get all of this into diamond at least. I'm not particularly worried about the tools. But I definitely want to get the armor situated out. And if we can get an enchanting station up and running, that will be a bonus. I think, I think we have enough to, oh, sweet, sweet, do that, do that, do that. Oh, look at that. We look fabulous in blue. Absolutely fabulous. Now, we're not going to need that anymore. You know what? We may make an armor stand to hold all that as a collectible memorabilia kind of thing here and our inventory is runneth over let's just throw everything into there everything else into there we need uh, you know i said our main go was that uh, i think we should go ahead and have a stretch go or a secondary go today and that would be to at least 
get all of our tools diamond as well. So that means we need three, four, and if we include this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we need another ten diamonds. I think we can handle that. Well, I've went fetching, and as you can see here, all I could find was four. I actually say four, but I thought I found more than that, but now I'm looking around. Oh, yeah. I had to make a pick because I needed the obsidian so that we could make this right here. We have an enchanting station now, and we have some bookshelves. The question is, where are we going to set this up? Now, of course, Jen up here has been moving villagers out here to this iron farm that she is building out there constantly. I'd say it won't be long until we have that set up. And it's just, how are we going to get XP set up at the end of the day? And Java baby villagers look so weird. I don't know what it is about them. They just look very weird. So it's, it's, it's trying to figure out where to set up this enchanting station. Now, of course I killed off all the cows and of course we're going to breed them back up. We're going to get more books once again, so that we can take and build an enchanting station back at spawn for everybody too. But it, it's, how are we going to get experience? And I'm thinking we're going to get to a trading hall, but I'm thinking that that's potentially going to be in the next episode. So to wrap out the remainder, wrap up, wrap out, do the things that need to be done for the remainder of this episode, I think we need to dig out an area here, potentially move this fence row over and get an area set up for our enchanting station and potentially plans for where we're going to put some villagers to trade with in the future. Now, the only thing is, is I don't want to be so close to that, that villagers from this will link to that. All right, so grab you and then you. Where does that put you? That puts you up to level 30. Oh my God, level 30, unbreaking three. I've got 27 levels. Game, bite me. I'm, ju I'm just saying, bite me. Um, ah, I have no ways to get three quick levels at this point in time. We are definitely going to have to deal with our experience problem definitely get that situated out and if i were to just do level two level two for 19 unbreaking three we can't resist it not a level two enchant offering that so let's grab our lapis let's also we're going to need a couple things out here let's make a chest and let's grab this crafting table okay so crafting table can go right there and then we will put a chest up here to hold our lapis in. Let's break that down. Let's grab that. Do that. Unbreaking. <laughs> I'm just going to take a minute and, and, and then say thank you, game. I don't know what I've done to you today, but I really like you. I, I, I really like you at this moment in time, and I'm really grateful for an Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 3, Silk Touch pick that only cost me 19 levels. Literally, that only cost me one level. What's it offer me for the shovel? Unbreaking 2. You know what? We're probably going to get robbed on that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that one. Then for, for the sword, just for amusement's sake, Sharpness and Unbreaking. And for the bow, you know what? I'll take Unbreaking on the bow. Look. Look, look, we're, we're, we're pretty shiny at this moment. We got 19 levels left. We have nothing that we can do with our boots here. 19 levels. The armor, fire protection, protection, protection too. Not quite what I'm looking for there. Let's grab that. Let's grab this, put that on there. Blast protection. Yeah, why not? Just in case. Look, we're, we're, we're getting pretty shiny at this moment. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's put that on there. I'm breaking. Sure projectile protection four and unbreaking three on a level 17 enchant i'm gonna say that that feels broken but we're gonna take it and then last but not least fire protection aqua affinity on our helmet hey but look look we are all shiny now it may not be perfect shiny, but we are shiny. So I think that right there is where we're going to call this one the first episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like down below. If you have any thoughts on what type of projects we should get into, how about you let that down no, be known down below too. With that being that, thanks for watching. We'll catch all of you all in the next episode. Goodbye!